Hey, I'm John Tabler. Welcome to Life Kitchen. This is an episode in which I'm going to talk about gluten. Uh, most people don't really have an understanding of what gluten is. Gluten actually is a substance that is in wheat and other grains. And of course, we're going to move ahead to making sourdough and showing you how to make sourdough um, really in record time. If you've never baked before, you'll be able to make sourdough within three or four minutes and you won't need to spend all day kneading and working the dough and doing all the other things that many people claim that you have to do. You know, sourdough was made for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and maybe even thousands. <laughs> and the people really didn't have uh, all the time in the world to be working the dough and kneading the dough. It was hard enough just to get the wheat out of a wheat stock and cleaned off and then crushed. Um, by that time, it would take you longer to make a loaf of bread than uh, you had before you needed to start making the next loaf of bread. So what we really want here is we want simplicity, quickness. We want everybody to be able to do this and do it quickly and efficiently. But before we start to talk about how to make sourdough bread and why you would even want sourdough bread, Let's talk about gluten and why people uh, are having so much problems with that today. So gluten comes from the word or the etymology of it, which is the origin of the word gluten in the Latin uh, goes all the way back to the word glue. And essentially the word glue, if you put that in and study the etymology of that, it actually goes back to the Latin and comes from the word glue, which you probably could figure that out without even going back and looking, but glue, gluten, it's one and the same. And so most people don't know that if you actually take wheat kernels and you pop them in your mouth and you chew on them, in about nine minutes or ten minutes it's actually going to turn to chewing gum. You can blow a bubble with it and I'm actually going to do that for you. That chewing gum is just like gum they say you shouldn't swallow and the reason why you shouldn't swallow is because it's not digestible nobody can really digest that so therefore the glue aka gum that is in this that you're going to see shortly isn't digestible either and that's why everyone's having problems with what they call gluten and the reason why is because the way everyone was supposed to prepare all grains to eat throughout all history has been lost in about the last hundred years. The real way that all grains are supposed to be prepared to be eaten is they're supposed to be fermented. And what fermentation is, is a natural process that's almost magic. Once you grind these wheat kernels into a fine powder, which is called flour, flour is simply just ground up grain. Once you do that and then you put it into say a, a a glass and add about a little bit of water and stir it and make a consistency of a little bit thinner than a paste set it aside and in about a day and a half or so it's going to start bubbling it's almost like those um, magic jumping beans that you would see where they're actually um, they, they look magic you're like what the, what's going on with that well, those jumping beans actually have little worms inside them, but wheat and other substances, nature put in there, God put in there, so that before electricity and refrigerators, things could be preserved. Say in a, uh, a big field of grapes, when you pick them, they're going to rot within a day or so if you don't preserve them. Well, we'll go into that later, but wheat and flour, once you grind it, once you grind the wheat into flour, it's actually perishable. It will actually uh, get old. So the way that you preserve things is that you uh, do that natural process. And so when you put side flour into, into a uh, glass jar and you put a little water in there, after about a day and a half, it will start bubbling. You add a little bit more, like you're kindling a fire, a little bit more flour, a little bit more water, and then it starts bubbling a little bit more 
and then you add a little bit more after a few more hours and it bubbles a little bit more and it turns sour like a lemon and this sour substance is actually a preservation uh, substance that has a life energy in it that will not let it break down rot or mold and I know that's a kind of a long way of an explanation to say that gluten or that gum that's in there actually gets completely neutralized and wiped out by that process now when you make bread you add a little bit of that substance to it to the dough ball and rather than take a number of days for that process to happen it acts almost like a jump starter in a, uh, a car or a battery and you put it in there and it actually happens overnight so this is what bread was made with from all time you would put a little bit of that substance into the dough ball and overnight that dough ball will blow up and all the new all the gluten gets completely neutralized and so that's the way that grain was always supposed to be prepared once that process is done the nutrients become 10 times more assimilable and that's actually backed by studies and this was why that bread was the nourishing um, substance for all of mankind for how many thousands of years did I actually say <laughs> basically ever and um, in this last century that was completely wiped out and bread was started to be made a different way um, which was actually yeast and we'll get into that uh, after a while but yeast is almost exactly the opposite substance and it actually breaks down and molds things and that's why your bread molds so quickly you want to add the life-giving substance into your body that's why you have to make bread right that's why sourdough is so important so everyone should be eating uh, sourdough and sourdough is kind of a weird name it's actually bread because it's the only way it was ever meant to be eaten because you have to ferment it uh, and in the fermentation process is actually what the meaning of leaven is and that's what leaven always was um, once again in this century they started to use um, a substance that wasn't even isolated until the end of the 18, uh, 1800s which is yeast and yeast imitates that process but it has no none of the nutri um, nutrition uh, qualities of it and it does not wipe out any of the gluten nor unlock the nutrients so we want to get into showing you how to do that but first I'm going to show you what the gluten actually is so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this wheat and I'm going to start chewing on it and um, then I'll come back I'm probably not going to put you through a whole nine minutes of watching me chew and you want to be careful because you don't want to break your teeth so go really really slow if you ever try to do this but here it goes so I got a handful of wheat berries so they're called and they're pretty hard like, really hard <laughs> so you don't want to break your teeth definitely don't do that uh, so I'm gonna put that in my mouth I won't be able to talk anymore um, well at least for a little bit and I'm gonna start chewing on it and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done so here it goes So, like I was saying, well, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to talk. <laughs> so, it's been about 10 minutes, and I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. So, that's from wheat, and it's, it's actually uh, really gummy at the moment, but it has bran still in it. So, once the bran gets out, I'll be able to blow a bubble with it. Um, that's actually called farmer's gum. It's the term for it you can uh, look that up on the internet and pretty much what farmers use for gum I guess they put honey in it or uh, flavoring so that is the indigestible part of wheat that the fermentation will completely wipe out but I'm gonna take it a little bit further we're gonna go for that bubble okay so I've been chewing on this for quite a while now probably almost 30 minutes and it has turned to gum now, I don't know how big the bubble will be, and I'm actually going to try to blow one from it. But first, I'm going to show you how, what it's actually turned to. And I will say I washed my hands first, so <laughs> I'm allowed to take the gum out of my mouth and play with it. Don't try that at home. So that's what wheat turns to. 
when you chew on it. It turns basically to gum. And that's why people are not supposed to eat grain before that gum has been neutralized because it's indigestible. And so it's like that for everybody. Gluten is not to be eaten um, without putting it through the proper process. The process is very similar to what turpentine does to paint on a paintbrush. It just completely neutralizes it and takes it off. Well, the fermentation process actually takes that glue and neutralizes it and wipes it completely out where it's just not there any longer. And that happens overnight in about eight, nine, ten hours. And that unlocks the nutrients um, to your body to be assimilated. And that's the key to health and life from grains. And it's been lost and we're going to find it. I'm going to show you how to make bread, make it easily, quickly, um, just like everybody should be able to, because that kind of thing is not a secret. That's what people are supposed to uh, be able to do is make healthy, uh, nourishing food for themselves and do it easily. So now I'm going to take this and try to blow that bubble. It might not be a real big bubble, but it'd be the first time you've ever seen someone try to blow, blow a bubble from wheat berries. So here goes. I hear a drum roll somewhere. That was a little weak. Let me try again. Got a little pop. If you see a whole bunch of edits here, it's because I kept trying and trying and then I fixed it with one major edit. That's not. Well, I probably should have learned to blow a bubble from regular gum first, but. That's it. Great, right? Once again, that's, and you notice that sticks. And that, once again, is the part that you're not supposed to eat. It's gluey, sticky. You'll see what happens after we actually ferment and use a starter and what that does, because I'm gonna take some of that and actually throw it in a starter and pull it out periodically and show you how it completely dissolves that and unlocks the nutrients. And so you're gonna understand the science behind why you wanna eat bread made the proper way but once you know that, and once you learn to do it in a short period of time, it's going to become a practice for the rest of your life, and it's going to make you live to be about 152 or 153. So that's what you want. You want to be healthy, well, whole, and stay away from doctors, and um, have a good, fun, enjoyable, healthy life. And that's what we aim to do here. And so that's coming up. Hey, thank you for your support. And if you're learning anything new, you've never seen someone blow a bubble with wheat berries that are chewed up or any other ideas are intriguing you that are in these videos, right below there's a thumbs up. Just touch that for me. If you hit it, it might fall over, so just touch it. And also the subscribe button, just touch that for me. You'll get videos very first. I'll keep these ideas coming to you. Secrets of health, secrets of food, uh, secrets that will help you maintain your health and continue to do that. And very interesting things. So I appreciate your support. And I look forward to bringing you more videos.